told me it's out there, the Pacific Vortex, paradise. You may be thinking, hey, shut up and enjoy the sunset, you idiot. Well, I don't care what you think. No one needs me here anymore, not even my maker. Do you know her by chance? Have you seen her? My first breath. I met my maker. I had a purpose. She was quick to accept me into her home and make me part of her life. But she also gave me my independence. I met her friends. She trusted me. She showed me what she knew of the world. I didn't understand all her running around, but I always cheered her on. This was shocking. This brought me closer to her than ever before. My skin against her skin, my cold, her warmth. I made her happy and she made me happy. I thought we would be together forever. Until I met her own private monster. Look at this beast. How could she prefer this one to me? What could this thing do? Nothing but slobber all over me. She spent less and less time with me. But I still did everything for her. I thought it must have been a mistake. That she was worried sick about me. I imagined her crying. Where is he? Where is he? darkness began. I don't know for how long and what did it really matter. That world decomposed. It was eaten by monsters, some too small for me to even see. Not me. I remained. I was strong and smart and I would find my maker. Ha! <sighs> Sometimes I had to wait and wait. I had holes, but over time I learned how to use them to navigate the wind and I could fly. I was free, but there was nobody left. I did not want to think about her anymore. She had forgotten me and I would forget her too. What kind of giant monsters had lived here? And where were they now?
They look like my maker's beastie, only bigger. I served no purpose to them. Monsters, be gone. And sometimes the world was even too great for me. And sometimes the waiting drove me mad. Wasn't she beautiful? She was also searching for her maker. I didn't need a maker anymore. I only needed her. drifted us apart and I was alone again. Where was I going? Who was I? And that's when I first learned about the vortex. They had chained themselves here on purpose in order to preach about the vortex. It was a world in the Pacific Ocean where a hundred million tons of us had gathered. They said there was no maker. They said we were the maker. But in the vortex, we were free. It was paradise. They told me to go there to join the others. born again and I reached out my hand to touch they looked just like me I learned to use the currents of the water as I had used the currents of the wind. And I went searching for the vortex. Some ate pieces of me until they realized I was useless to them. it to the vortex. I was with my own kind. We covered an area the size of a small continent. We were free and happy. I loved going in circles and circles and circles. But no one here thought about anything. I grew restless and I started to think about her again. So I spun around so fast that I was free, but I was quickly trapped. I have no idea how long ago that was. Over time, I came to like these monsters. Isn't that one beautiful? Like a fool, I still have hope I will meet her again. If I do, I will tell her just one thing. I wish you had created me so that I could die.